chickens. Now, honestly, team, there's probably, I don't know, how many dozens of ways to trust chickens? Dozens. Now, if you have a way that you're familiar with, you're comfortable with it, as long as you give me what I'm looking for, I don't care how you get there. Are we okay with that? Yes, yes, sir. So if you got your own method, a lot of students come in here, especially my A students, they come in here and they're all, oh, I can do it faster, easier. But okay, that's fine, show me. But I'm, what I'm gonna show you is what I think is the easiest way to trust a chicken. And then you guys can go from there. But what I'm looking for is to be able, when my finished product is sitting here, I need to be able to look down over the top of that chicken and know that I'm not gonna see any strings. I'm gonna keep those strings down as low as I can. Those legs are gonna be way up here, nice and tight. Okay? And we're gonna start by turning the, the wing tips back. Chicken at the beach, right? See? Chicken at the beach. On the beach, baby. On the beach. If I had a pair of sunglasses, that would have been me this summer. Keep going. Wait a minute. Yeah, you got that at that? That's me. That would be your new Moodle picture. Hello. Cigar in one hand, beer in the other. Sounds good. I don't drink. Okay, here we go. So you push the legs up there so you know where they're going to go. Turn the rack around. Tail's towards you. Take your string under the tail, up between the legs. Okay, I am under the tail. Do you see that? Under the tail, and I'm in between the two legs. Okay. Cross and drop down. Cross and drop down. Cross again. Pull tight. Now, you got this tight here, right? It's almost like a guitar string here. I'm going to hold on to it really nice and firm. I'm going to push up with my thumbs and take my index fingers. I'm going to go on the top of the breast, top of the shoulders, and I'm going to squeeze the two together. Look what happened. Those legs came up right where I needed them to be. Right where I needed them to be. And all I did was pull up with my thumbs, push down with my fingers, and there they are. Dunsky. Come across the front of his neck, the front, and with a simple knot like you're tying your shoes, make sure those strings are down low. Pull it tight. If at this point you're around the front of the neck and you made that first little knot, if your legs aren't up there, stop. You're doing it wrong. You're never going to recoup. You're going to have to go back and figure out what you did wrong. Okay? Now, I haven't let go yet. I still got a death grip on here. Turn it over. Come behind his neck. Finish. One, two, he's done. Nice. Tight like a roast. Tight. Okay. A little looser. Well, it's looser than a roast, but it's still not sagging. Okay. Key is legs are underneath the tip. Okay. Wings are behind the head. Watch again. Okay, first I do the, the wing tips, number one, number two. Now this is a cut, this is what they call cut skin. This would, this in my opinion should no longer be an A chicken. But now this, this tells me that now they're on the, on the lower end of the min-max, the lower end, okay. This morning I had a couple of broken bones, I had some missing pieces, it was terrible. Okay. Push it up. Up, even. See, Cherry, I'm underneath the tail, up in between the legs, right? Okay. This is where kid, this is where you guys get mixed up. Cross and drop it down low, and then just cross under the legs again. Don't go underneath the tail. Don't wrap it around. Just make another cross, another X. Boom, done. That's the hardest part of this whole thing. Is making sure you don't wrap it around the legs or you don't cross underneath the tail. Right, get a good grip. Up, look, look, the sound of a gun. Like he knows right where to go. Down low, front of the neck. So I kind of cut my. This is where. This is one time where you got to have a fat belly. This helps you a lot. Holding that friggin' chicken in place. Okay. Spin it over. Come back. One, two. All three chickens. Truss them up, all three chickens. I'll be around. Thank you.